and the Bakelite. In 1907, a Belgian immigrant named Leo Bakeland created what we now know as Bakelite. Known as a phenolinic resin, Bakelite was supposed to be a replacement for celluloid. The reason they needed to find a replacement for celluloid was actually because of billiard balls. During a game of pool, if you struck a celluloid billiard ball at just the right angle, the ball could actually explode. So the Hyatt Billiard Ball Company actually held a contest to see who could create a better billiard ball. Leo Bakelin decided to enter his brand new state-of-the-art resin into this competition and ended up being one of the finalists. Bakelite was produced by combining phenol and formaldehyde under intensive pressure and heat. The instrument that Bakelin created was the Bakelizer. The Bakelizer is basically a very large pressure cooker. The Bakelizer, referred to by Bakelin as Old Faithful, was the very first machine used by Bakeland to undergo this process. The Bakelizer that you see here is actually the only reproduction of the original Bakelizer. It was produced for CHF's museum and is completely to scale and is a complete replica of the original Bakelizer. The Bakelizer was stored in Bakeland's backyard shed for a number of years until it was donated to, by his family to the Smithsonian Museum of American History. In 1993, the American Chemical Society declared the Bakelizer to be a National Chemical Historical Landmark. In the 1920s, German chemists developed the ability to dye plastics. Before this time, plastics such as Bakelite could only be produced in black and brown. Because of this development, resins like Bakelite exploded onto the market. Consumer goods such as poker chips, neck and rings, belt buckles, bracelets became a fad. Everything from telephones to transistor radios were created, even fashion accessories like hair combs and bags. A lot of times handbags were created by combining Bakelite with a clear plastic called Lucite. Sometimes even shoes were created using these two materials. Today, Bakelite jewelry from the 1920s and the 1930s can sometimes be collected for as much as $100 and $120 a piece, and that's something for as simple as a very plain bracelet. Bakelite and other resins were replaced by polyethylene and other more easily extrudable plastics because of their ease of moldability and castability. If you want to learn more about Bakelite or the Bakelizer, come visit us at the Chemical Heritage Foundation in Philadelphia. I'm Rosie Cook. Thanks for watching.